From the gushing geysers of Giant to the plutonium-powered time machine of Back to the Future, Energy at the Movies illustrates how filmmakers have captured the history of energy. Join energy expert and professor Dr. Michael Weber as he explores 70 years of energy on the big screen. Some people say this did for nuclear energy what Jaws did for sharks. Energy at the Movies. I would say you're probably lucky to be alive. The same for the rest of Southern California. The closer they get, no. the more threatening it becomes. No. The China Syndrome. Today, only a handful of people know what it really means. And they're scared. Soon, you will know. Okay, so that wasn't a happy movie. Uh, it's sort of a... It gives a negative view, nuclear, we'll say that. It talks about human error and greed and corruption in this nuclear power plant coming within days of causing a near meltdown. This movie came out in 1979, 12 days before the Three Mile Island accident. And that freaked people out. I want to change the way you think about movies. Because movies are historical documents. So by watching movies, we can actually learn the story of energy. 